Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Uh, today we are going to discuss about derivatives. So if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. So let's get to start. Uh, what we are going to do in derivative is we have to reduce power one always. For example, if it is given ax the power of n, what rule we have to remember is we have to reduce the power of n by one. So what we are getting is a n x the power of n minus one. This is what we call derivative. Uh, let's take an example and solve with it. Example derivative of with respect to x a x square plus b x plus c. So when we derivate this one, it is easy. So what we are going to do is we have to reduce degree of x by one one. And the derivative of constant number always we have to remember that derivative of constant is equal to zero. D of dx of constant number is always zero. So what we are going to do is we have to reduce the power of x by one and constant number to zero. So derivative of so this means d of dx with x squared plus d of dx with bx plus d of dx with constant c so over here what we are going to get is 2a x because we are going to take this degree over here and reduce it by one so what we are getting is 2a x plus what's over here bx means derivative of mean 1 minus 1 so 1 over taken here b x the power of 0 x is the power of 0 is 1 so what's left b plus what's the uh, derivative of constant number it is 0 so what's left 2ax plus b is derivative of this function so let's take another example d by dx of sin x over 1 plus cos x so derivative of this is calculated by the quotient rule when we say a uh, quotient rule it is d of da dx with respect to a over b x over b x plus one is always calculated as a x derivative times b x plus one minus a x times b x plus one derivative over b x plus one the power of square so we have to do by this formula so derivative of this one means sine x a derivative times 1 plus cos x minus 1 plus cos x derivative times sine x over what 1 plus cos x the whole square so sine x derivative means what cos x so cos x times 1 plus cos x minus 1 derivative is 0 cos derivative is minus sin x minus sin x times sin x over 1 plus cos x the whole square so let's simplify furthermore cos x times 1 cos x plus cos square x minus sin x minus sin x minus sin x square so we have minus over here and the minus over here it is get plus so plus sine square x over one one plus cos x the whole square from the uh, sine and the cosine identity what we have is cos square x plus sine square x is equal to what one so over here what we have is cos square x plus sine x square so we are going to substitute this one by one so cos x plus 1 cos square x plus sin square x is 1 over what 1 plus cos x the whole square so cos x plus 1 can be simplified with this square so what we are going to left with is 1 over 1 plus cos x this is the final answer of this derivative so let's take another example and solve it d by dx of radical 3x plus 
1 radical 3x plus 1 so whenever rad it is given under radical radical means radical of a is equal to what a is a power of 1 over 2 so we have to change this one into this form and derivative it so d by dx of this means 3x plus 1 the power of 1 over 2 3x plus 1 the power of 1 over 2 so we have to subtract 1 from 1 over 2 so what we are left is 3x plus 1 the power of 1 over 2 minus 1 times 1 over 2 we take this one over when this uh, place and we reduce 1 1 from 1 over 2 so what we are going to do in next and next is we have to derivate the inner part by using chain chain rule property so times 3x plus 1 derivative 3x plus 1 derivative so what we are left with is 1 over 2 times 3x plus 1 the power of my 1 over 2 minus 1 is minus 1 over 2 times 3x plus 1 derivative means what 3x plus 1 derivative means 3 so this means when we further simplify it 1 over 2 times a to the power of minus 1 over 2 is equal to what 1 over a to the power of 1 over 2 1 over 2 so we have to take this one under over so times 3x plus 1 times 1 over 2 times 3 so what we are left with is 1 over 2 times 3 times 1 over 3x plus 1 under radical 1 over 2 means under radical so what is the final answer of this is 3 over 2 times 1 over under radical of 3x plus 1 is the final answer of this question i think it's uh, it's clear and if you have any question uh, let me know in the comment section if you are new to the uh, channel please subscribe to the channel until the next video bye bye